Do you have difficulty sleeping in one of these? I have five tips to make it better. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. Uh, as I mentioned in the intro, if you have difficulty sleeping in a tent, then I have five tips for you to make that experience much better. And especially if you're a person that doesn't like to go camping because sleeping in a tent is miserable, then this should help. Also, for those of us who do a lot of adventure riding, motorcycle riding, sleep is extremely important, especially trying to stay focused in long riding days. You really need to get good sleep overnight. And there are some things that you can do to help improve your sleep. Now, before I get into it, I just wanna make a note that none of this has to do with any chemically enhanced sleeping um, or any types of chemical over the counter or otherwise to help you sleep. These are all behavioral changes that will help you sleep when you're in your tent. And the first three that I'm gonna cover, there is significant scientific research to back what I am saying. I'm just making sure that those of you out there that have difficulty sleeping in a tent know that there are things that you can do based on actual research. So I will leave links to articles um, that I found that supports what the tips that I'm giving you. So you can look those up for yourself, read, see what uh, you think, and if those will be helpful to you. Now keep in mind, these are just tips. You don't have to do any of these, or you can do one, two, three, four, or uh, all five of them. It's really up to you. Uh, one of these tips is probably gonna irritate some of you, but um, look at the research and then you can make your own decision on whether or not you want to um, agree with it or follow it. So um, let's get started. Uh, the first tip to make sure you get some good sleep when you're in your tent is try not to eat two to three hours before you go to bed. Now, I know that is very hard when we're uh, traveling on motorcycles. We usually get to campsites late and it gets dark. If you can't have a fire or there's not a lot to do, we tend to just eat and go to bed. Well, the problem with that is our body metabolically uh, speeds up through the process of digestion. So it's a little bit harder for us to relax and actually fall asleep and get into that sleep rhythm because your body is metabolically uh, sped up. It's, it's digesting and that is um, a process. In order to get better sleep, make sure that you don't eat two to three hours before going to bed. All right, tip two is probably not gonna be very popular with some of you out there, but keep in mind, this is just a tip to help you get better sleep and there is research to support the effects. And that is, do not drink alcohol before going to bed. I know some of you are immediately gonna say that drinking alcohol helps you fall asleep. And that is true, it does. But the problem with alcohol is it interrupts your sleep patterns. Uh, it interrupts your ability to get deep sleep and REM sleep. And that is when your brain is processing memories and also repairing itself and healing and getting ready for the next day so that you're you're fresh ready to go you're not going to get the rest that you need if you're drinking alcohol right before going to bed now remember this is just a tip if you want better sleep in your tent this is something you can do so um, if you're wondering more about it look at the article down below but alcohol interrupts your sleep patterns especially the processing of your brain so that is the number two tip. Don't drink alcohol before going to bed. Number three tip to help you get better sleep really has to do with um, laying down and getting into those, those thought circles, those thought patterns. And for me, if I've had a long day of riding, a hard day of riding, I start replaying a lot of what I did that day. And so I end up laying in my tent just thinking about all the things that are going on, or I think about videos that I wanna make or things that I could do or shots that I wanna get. So I get in these thought loops. And it's pretty common to get in thought loops when you go to bed because your brain's trying to relax uh, and, and rest and, and kind of shift gears. But once you get into those thought loops, you really get stuck in it. And one of the things that you can do to help get you out of that thought loop, get your brain to reset and, and get ready for sleep is reading. Reading right before you go to sleep helps give you a brain reset. And in doing that, you'll get out of those thought loops and be able to go to sleep. 
Now, one of the things is it's not recommended to read from your phone because of the light that comes off of it or even e-readers. The best that you can do is bring a book to read. And what I've been doing lately, um, because I didn't have a book uh, I had forgotten is I just, I've been reading the owner's manual for my motorcycle and uh, talk about putting you to sleep. This is the thing that will do it. So uh, tip number three is read right before you fall asleep so that your brain gets a bit of a reset and gets out of those thought loops that you've had um, re, you know, processing through the day. So yeah, do that. All right, tip number four is try to make your um, sleeping, your bed that you're gonna be in, is similar to whatever you use at home. I know some people just take their clothes, put them in a bag, wad them up, put them under their head. And that is not as similar as having pillows. Now these air pillows pack down pretty small. So for me, I carry two air pillows and a small cotton pillow. When I sleep at home, I, I'm a side sleeper. I put a pillow between my legs and I wanna make sure that my head is supported well. So I make sure that the air pillows that I have support my head. Um, I usually use one of these at about two thirds inflated with a, another small pillow on top and then another air pillow between my legs just so that the way I sleep in my tent is as similar as I sleep at home so that there isn't um, a huge change and it's uh, unfamiliar for me for sleeping. So that's what I would say for number four is bring pillows. If you use three pillows at home when you sleep, try to figure out a way to bring three pillows. Air pillows packed down really, really small. So this shouldn't be a problem for you. Tip five is with your air mattress, don't over inflate it. Also don't under inflate it. There is a, a Goldilocks area of air pressure in there. If you over inflate your air mattress, it's basically gonna feel like you're sleeping on the ground. Maybe you don't feel the rocks, but it's gonna be extremely hard. And if you under inflate it, well, if you're a side sleeper, your hip is gonna be on the ground. So kind of the, the amount of air pressure I put in there is if I'm sitting on my air mattress, I actually touch the, the ground, my butt touches the ground just barely. And then that way, when I lay out, it'll distribute my weight. It'll still have some give to it and it'll conform to my body a little bit more. Now that can be a little bit trickier in colder weather because your air mattress is gonna lose pressure as it cools off. So when that happens, um, I've had to wake up in the middle of the night, put a little bit more air pressure in because I started sleeping on the ground. But uh, one of the ways to get better sleep is don't overinflate your air mattress. I think there's probably more risk of overinflating than there is in underinflating. All right, so those are my five tips. So one is don't eat two to three hours before going to bed. Two, don't drink alcohol before going to bed. And three, read right before you go to sleep to help get a brain reset. Four, bring pillows. Pillows make a huge difference. Don't underestimate the value of having pillows when you're sleeping. And then five, don't over inflate your mattress. I think that is probably the bigger risk when it comes to mattresses. Anyway, I didn't discuss sleep systems. I've done that before. If you're interested, I will leave a link to the video that I did for sleep systems in uh, cold uh, weather and overall what I am doing. So hopefully you found this useful if you di have difficulty sleeping in a tent. If you have some of your own tips that you recommend to help people sleeping in tents, please leave that in the comments below. I'm curious to see what others do. Uh, several years ago, probably four years ago, I did a video and I had talked about some uh, chemical assistance with like melatonin or Benadryl for sleeping. I have completely gotten away from that and I am using um, the tips that I gave today as a way to try to help my sleep. I'm taking my sleep very seriously. These are things that I do at home um, and it has really made a big difference in the quality of sleep that I get and my ability to fall asleep quickly. So um, if you got to the end, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you haven't done it yet, do that thing down below. Get out, do some riding, ride safe, and I will see you out there.